Irwin Lake Chalets, located on beautiful Irwin Lake near Truro, Nova Scotia. We offer the perfect setting for a family vacation, weekend escape, or a romantic getaway. Irwin Lake Chalets, come enjoy life at Mother Nature's pace. Please welcome Fortchester County Native Zach Sell. A special event took place in Truro recently as NHLer and hometown hero Zach Sill had his number 23 retired by his former junior A team, the Truro Bearcats. Only the third such honor bestowed to a former player. Tonight's huge, you know, for me personally. It's a small town guy and, and you know, got to play in my hometown junior A team. And for them to, you know, to recognize me and give me uh, this kind of honor, it, uh, it's pretty big for me. It feels great, you know. It, uh, it's a great hockey town and, and uh, to be, you know, to be recognized by, uh, by the team and this organization, this top-notch organization, it, uh, it, it feels great, you know. It, it, I'm in good company up there too, you know. Zach has fond memories of his youth in and around Colchester County, one of the reasons he's so willing to make time for the fans, especially the kids. You know, like, as you know, I see lots of young kids running around here watching, you know, the Junior A team here, and, and uh, you know, I was like that too, running around the rink in Truro, and, and before Truro, I was running around the rink in Brookfield and, and watching the, uh, the, you know, the Brookfield Elks play there too, and asking those guys for sticks and, and hanging over the glass and, and bugging them, right? So. I think that's kind of the earliest, earliest memory I have of, of being young and, and, and just loving hockey. This is where I'm from, you know, it, it's a you know, hometown, small town kind of feel to it and, and it's, you know what it means to those kids to do, you know, something just so small and it, uh, it what does it do, you know, I came here tonight and that's what I came here to do, you know, to try to, you know, brighten up some uh, someone's day. Having his number 23 sweater retired by the Bearcats goes hand in hand with another huge moment in Zach's hockey life when I first got called up to, uh, to play for Pittsburgh. You know, I'd, I'd been in the minors for, for five years, you know, and at that point you don't really know if it's gonna happen or not. And, uh, and when it did happen, it, it, was, it was really special, you know, it was, it was emotional. You know, I had to call my parents and let them know and, and try to get them on a flight to, uh, to New Jersey right away. And, and that whole 48 hour swing that, uh, that I went through then was by far the, the high point in my career. As the emotion of the evening settled in, Zach couldn't help but think of his hockey journey and the biggest lesson he learned along the way. Hard work can get you a long ways, you know, and, and never to give up on yourself because I, I really didn't think that, you know, I, I kind of had what it took to get there. I just kind of kept working at it and working at it and, and, uh, and then, you know, eventually I, I made it even, you know, again at the minor league level, like it took a long time for me to get there, but I just kind of stuck to it so I think for for every young kid that might not you know might have some doubts on whether you, know, you can make it or not or, or whether you should try or not it's you can't uh, you can't make it if you don't try and, and you just gotta have a good work ethic and, and that's the best thing you can have a lot of young fans are inspired by his story and Zach hopes they too can turn their hockey dreams into future reality